What's up? What's up? What's up? For the move here. Kind of having a long day, man. So uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna make any patches today. Sometimes even the church has a hard day, man. So I've turned up the reverb a bit, and uh, I think we're just going to listen to some other people's patches. Yeah, sounds chill. This is an old one that I made when I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It's called Moon Clouds. It's kind of chill. A lot of, a lot of colored knob stuff going on there. You can do a lot uh, if you're watching this section, the knob section. But you can, you can mess with it pretty elaborately. That said, most of the knobs are usually set in their optimum location. If you mess with them too much, it becomes harder to listen to. At least I had the good sense to put a compressor on the end of it so it's not too overwhelming. But yeah, it's it's relaxing. I mean, I used to set my Juno 6 to a nice slow attack and release and just meditate on a synth for hours and you can do that you can meditate and play a synth and you can meditate and program a modular synth so i recommend it let's look at some other people's patches today i got a little folder called today that i put somewhere yeah here we go so here's most of these I don't know where they came from if it's made by me I'll say so but most of them are not and this one is not 020503 03b underscore soundscape catchy title let's take a listen Hear something. I chose this one because I heard people on hardware buclos make patches like this, especially in live performances. I don't do much that would be literally called a drone patch, but this is a nice slow attacking drone patch here. Sounds like phasing, but I think it's probably actually really slow wave wrapping that's going on right now. I love that the Nord Modular lets you do this, lets you be a, a DJ of, of preloaded patches. I've never done a set where all I did was play back Nord Modular patches, but 
Certainly the fact that they can be saved and recalled instantly and that they can have variation in them as you're hearing here that evolves slowly over time uh, gives you so much I mean it's not like a recorded mp3 or something you can still interact with those sounds but uh, it lets you set up a, a longer continuous sort of set like a musical set like a gig set It's like no five beats to not do your homework to, man. Anyway, that's quite a soundscape and far from the kind of thing I tend to program. So I find it impressive and interesting. Let's try another one. What else we got here? Oh, I remember this is kind of a weird thing to listen to, but it sure is interesting. I don't know if it's musical, but it's interesting. It's called Bed Bugs 3. Very vocal, very, uh, I don't want to say it's aggressive. Something weird is happening down here with these two very fast running control sequencers. I think they're probably processing the vocal filters. Maybe not directly. But those squeals or screams are partially coming out of the vocal filters, I believe. In fact, where's the oscillator in this? Oh, there's a sine wave here. I thought they might be self-oscillating filters doing the oscillating. Kind of reminds me of my uh, living grass patch, but aiming for a very different target. Let's try another one here. Oh yeah, I really liked this one when I was previewing. It's called City Atmosphere, but does your city sound like this? city feels, but this is not a representation of car sounds or, uh, you know, the factory floor or something, like in Living Grass where they're trying to imitate, you know, animals. But maybe this is the atmosphere that a city gives off. I'm hearing the bass drone. I'm hearing a noisy metal maraca thing. And I'm hearing another, like, noise drone in the background that's filtered or almost like whistly. Maybe that's the sign bank. I don't know. I didn't really come here to analyze other people's patches today. I just kind of wanted to play them. Hope that's cool. a lot of weird stuff going on. There's like three ring modulators. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what to tell you, man. I have no idea. All I know is that it sounds awesome. City atmosphere. 
try another one. Well, this one's pretty cool. I said I wasn't going to analyze, but parts of this one are just kind of obvious. If you look at the... These are the key quantizer modules. They've been labeled as major, minor, major two octave, and minor two octave. And they've connected chord type here, this four-way switch. You, you decide which one is allowed through, and you change the chord as you see fit. So right now, according to this, we should be on two, which is minor one octave. Let's try changing to four, minor two octave. And then major two octave. Major one octave. To me, this feels almost like a beginning of a patch, not the end. Like, they clearly went to the work of building the arpeggiator, but it isn't doing anything super musically useful in its current form, but I can see it maybe if you uh, turned off the clock and made it so you could play back the rhythms from your keyboard. Oh, I bet you can transpose. There you go. That was even a nice jump. So yes, the keyboard is set up, and when I play different notes, it'll transpose the octave that's being uh, played back. So famously, the Nord Modular did not come with an arpeggiator module, although you'd think it'd be the kind of thing they could build, but they just let you build it yourself with key quantizers and some uh, LFOs here. You can see these, the guys also labeled up, up, down, up, two, up, and down, two for the different directions of the uh, arpeggio. And he's got one oct pattern and two oct pattern. So it's all pretty well labeled here. So Mr. Arpeggiator delivers on his uh, promises. Pattern mode. Let's start changing a pattern mode. There we go. That's choosing between up one, up down one, up two, and up down two. Neat. Quite an excellent exercise. And we got two left. Here's one for me. One I actually did make for a change. I guess I said before I didn't make a lot of drones, but I guess this is a drone. As atonal and as weird as this setup is, I actually use this in a lot of uh, live gigs. Well, maybe a lot is overstating it, but when I do go to play, I tend to use this bizarre sounding little patch. Maybe it's a transition between melodic elements. It's got some ring mod going on. It's got some FM going on. It's got some... Sounds like bit reduction going on, although I don't see that module here right now. So maybe it's not. Why is keyboard floater even here? And it's doing stuff in stereo, which we can't hear. Oh, maybe this is what we're hearing. Not bit reduction, technically, but wave wrapping. I don't know. Yeah, I was right. You can see here. There's the digitizer. He's down to seven bits, and the sample rate is also reduced. So, uh... That's what's I still like this one. I named it Stereo DS Land. A DS meaning like Nintendo DS, meaning it's a another Game Boy landscape. A stereo DS landscape, if you want to think of it that way. So, uh, yeah. 
This is the kind of noise I like to patch together on a hardware modular too with some 2-op FM going on. Throw in a little bit more. Get some nice craziness happening. And so from my simple and weird patch, I want to close on a not simple and very smart patch. sounding nice here. The name of this patch is X equals GX bracket 1 minus X bracket. But what some math people smarter than me may recognize this as is uh, the game of life for uh, cellular automata. In other words, this is a model of a of an environment where creatures, by which I mean notes in this case, exist. And if the population of the C notes gets higher, and the female is the A note, then they will produce more E's, which are children. But if the overall population gets too high, they will start to die off because of a lack of resources back down to a sustainable level of notes. That really is what's going on here. The fact that it's tuned to some nice, listenable musical notes is only really part of it. You, you can tune it to annoying notes, too. The tuning, by the way, going on down here in the left corner. G, E, F, C, E, F, G, and a B flat. But, yeah, the designers have, have built this to express this... Mathematical equation, often used to determine uh, population growth and everything from wolves to amoeba. So it's really quite smart. There's a couple of implementations of uh, cellular automata and the game of life in... Uh, Jay Clark's modular book. I know one of them is done by Rob Hordjike, one of them is done by Clark himself, and other people have implemented it in various ways over the years. But uh, it is really pleasant to hear it represented this way and to know that it's, it's not just an interesting random series of notes, but... Uh, an expression of a mathematical formula that we probably see in our daily lives without really seeing it. Or you could say this, the world around you, the, the bacteria growing on your eyebrow or in your gut right now are following the same rules as the notes that you're listening to. It's just you can't hear those bacteria singing kind of thing. So yeah. interacting with the Nord Modular. It doesn't always make me feel smart, but I like looking at what other smart people have done with it. But I don't mind that I can't hack the, the math behind this. What matters is making it sound good. And from time to time I can get there. I think we can all get there. Anyway, this has been other people's patches. I never said I would give up on it completely. It's too fun. It's too fun to listen to other people's patches and play them back for y'all. It's kind of like new radio. All modular, all the time. Hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for coming to the church every Sunday, as you always do. Really appreciate it. Smash that smash that close window button 
do not subscribe.